The Life and Death of John Hudson John Hudson was a chimney sweep in 1780. At this time, London was overcrowded with almost a million inhabitants. The average age of death for unskilled workers such as John was 19 years of age. John Hudson was an orphan and was sold for his services for seven years, receiving only 20 or 30 shillings. It is not known how, but John managed to survive, for he kept no notebooks or diaries. Most orphans of the time were illiterate and never given any or proper schooling. John Hudson was miserable, working 12 hours a day, permanently blackened by soot provide some protection against the fire and heat of chimneys. Many chimney sweeps were recruited at the age of four and starved so they could fit into chimney as small as nine by four inches. That's 23 by 25 centimeters. Numerous chimney sweeps were killed doing their job or at least permanently scarred by fire or laceration. John Hudson in England was a little slave with nothing to lose. In 1783, John Hudson and an accomplice were, on an October night were caught stealing one linen shirt, value 10 shillings, five silk stockings, value five shillings, one pistol, value five shillings, and two aprons, value two shillings. John Hudson narrowly managed to escape the death penalty by only being charged for breaking and entering, and not the crime of burglary. A conversation was recorded between John and a judge at the time of his trial. How old are you? Going on nine, squire. What business was you bred up in? Sometimes a chimney sweep. Have you any father or mother? Dead, sir. How long ago? I don't know. John was first held in Newgate Prison and then onto a number of prison ships. Most of these jail conditions not much different if he'd still been at large. Finally leaving for Australia three years later. John left on the first week with 50 other children and 1,500 other adult criminals. He arrived in Australia in 1788. He was now 13 years old. On the voyage with him was a 13-year-old girl, Mary Ribley, who was convicted of stealing a horse and sentenced to seven years. Mary's image can still be seen on the back of the $20 bill. The next reference to John was made three years later. He was 16. Fear of starvation led to a division of the first fleeters into two convict settlements. Half remained in Sydney, the other sailed to Norfolk Island, hundreds of miles off Australia's east coast. John sailed to Norfolk Island where it became notorious for child abuse and rape. The last government record of John Hudson was an order by Major Ross for 50 lashes for being outside his tent after 9 o'clock. No other record is made concerning John Hudson. He may have died out of star starvation. We don't know what happened to John. I like to hope he lived a full life and the memory of John Hudson was passed down through generations of children. But I guess we'll never know, or will we?